Hello, hello, my beautiful, beautiful fire sign of Sagittarius. Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday, October 11th. I'm over here bright and early this morning, about 7 a.m. I've been rocking and rolling it out since 6. Get in your reading stuff for you guys for the month of October. I will be starting off with the Guardian Angel Guidance deck. Um, there we go. <laughs> Angel of Imagination. Wow, you saw it. So, yeah, I got your card um, for that. And Angel of Past Issues, I'm also going to take that for you guys, right? So, I'm going to be doing a reading for the Fire Sign of Sag. This reading is going to be good for October. However, time is fluid. So, whenever you view this reading, at that time, it resonates with and for you, then it is your message. Don't get too caught up in the genders. G um, tarot is gender neutral, so your kings can be queens and vice versa. So we have Angel of Imagination and Angel of Past Issues. So I definitely feel like there's something or someone from the past coming up here. I'm going to give you more of a visual of those cards and read the affirmations from them also for you guys after I select your astrology cards here. Ancestors, angels, what messages do we have for the lovely fire sign of Sagittarius for this tarot card reading? What images do we have? <laughs> oh my okay i see you i see you spirit period wow that's you sag the ninth house sagittarius rules the ninth house this is jupiter's energy i love to see that here for you guys beautiful Ooh, second house everyone wants the second house card period that's money that's venus and taurus that's hard work paying off showing off your assets your finances and the things that you value in life congratulations i hope this is really really amazing for you guys here, messages please for my lovely fire sign of Sagittarius. One more card. And Vesta. Some of you guys are in your natural element here with Vesta's energy. There's an astrology wheel behind her. It's about the Akashic Records and the infinite storehouse of information being available to you now, coming to you through synchronicity and maybe even your dreamlike state here. I feel like some of you guys are very much embodying the goddess within and your sacred spiritual center with quiet dignity and it's really really good to be you right now in this energy in this place and time let's get you guys your angel messages so we have your angel of imagination first i want to interpret them how they fell for you right can you guys see that i'm going to give you a good visual for that look at here while you're sitting while you're pondering while you're thinking you have lots of information and things coming to you that could lead you to your best life ever in your abundance is the energy that i'm getting off of that card it reads, your imagination is a glimpse of what you can and will bring into your life, right? The affirmation reads, I am inspired by my angel of imagination to use my imagination to bring my thoughts into reality. Beautiful. All right. Let's go for card number 23, angel of past issues. And it reads, and it reads, on the page, the past is history. It is time to let go. I welcome in the new energy of my life. I welcome in the new energy of my future life. Sorry about that, guys. The affirmation for this card, Sagittarius, reads, I am no longer stuck in the past. I can't change what happened in the past, but I can be in control of what I welcome into my future. With open arms, there's something waiting for you to welcome it in or someone here. We're going to visit the tarot. We're going to go into your astrology cards and see if we can get some more clear images here of what is going on for you lovely, lovely Sagittarius. I must definitely tell you guys, it's a lot of love here. When you get your own card, your own energy and element showing up for you in your reading, that's really beautiful. I love to see that for you guys. The ninth house energy. This is Jupiter. The planet Jupiter is about abundance, expansion. It's about luck. Um, the will turning in your favor. The Jupiter is the will of fortune in the major arcana here, right? This is Pisces energy as well as Sagittarius. So it reads, broadening your horizons either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. 
And then you have Vesta here, who's awakening, right? Who has very spiritually aligned with the energy of the cosmos and the everything around you, right? At this point in time in life, I definitely see here that some of you guys have those activations currently taking place for you. And it's really beautiful energy here, most definitely. Um, second house energy, this is Venus in Taurus. Okay, Venus shows up in Taurus here. What is she concerned and focused on? Other than loving on her money, loving growing her coin. You know, she's very abundant. She's very beautiful. Um, this is your assets, your finances, and the things that you value in life here. I definitely see your money is going to expand and be doing really, really well for some of you guys. You have a lot coming in for you guys with Jupiter's energy. This is like the wheel turning in your favor and things finally beginning to manifest and materialize for you financially. For those of you who have struggled with your finances, I'm here to tell you that the energies around you now is telling me that it is going to definitely get greater later for you guys. So continue to let your creative juices and imagination flow. And let lack be a situation of the past. Don't accept that energy into your future and where you're going right now. Only welcome and accept and see the things that you want for yourself. Um, doesn't matter what's going on around you right now. Even if you don't see proof in your day-to-day -day living, then still know and um, expect and want that for yourself. Embody that feeling of what it would feel like. Um, if you can teach your body in the present moment what your future feels like, then trust me, you can definitely be magnetic and begin to magnetize that into your current experience here. And with the ninth house energy broadening your horizon spiritually, I definitely see that you're a major manifester here with the astrology wheel behind you. This is telling me that you have the universe on your side. The universe literally has your back. So anything you want, anything you set forth in your mind and you begin to move towards those things, don't worry about not having it all together, not having all of your ducks in the row. I feel like the universe and your angels want you to know that they're very um, active in your life and your experience and will be helping you along the way. So we have... The world energy here, fixed energy, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius, as well as the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So that's some of your energy. This is telling me that you have successful completions coming up ahead of you. Things that you start, things that you put your attention to, looking out towards the horizon here of your future, the things you want to create for yourself. I feel like in this energy, the world is your oyster. So gobble it up. There's nothing that you can't do. This picture here is depicted with someone holding a picture of the globe in their hand, right? So the world is your oyster, literally. Gobble it up. There's so much going on here. There's so many great things and opportunities you're going to have. Some of you guys could have met your person. Um, if you're dealing with love um, and it's here for you, I'm saying that you've met your person in a different place here. This is someone that your timelines are beginning to somehow merge together. Um, it could be someone that you're going to travel to or that is going to be making travel to you. Or you could have met them in a foreign place or location with the ninth house energy here. It's about foreign travels and foreign affairs as well. So, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see you. So I'm going to shuffle. Hmm. one more so my next two cards out for you guys is ace of swords and two of cups cancer scorpio pisces and gemini libra aquarius i see here that you guys have powerful epiphanies coming through here um the ace of swords paired with the angel of imagination is telling me that you know that that you set your intentions to, that that you want to do, you're going to be getting a lot of clarity through um, some synchronistic moments. So do pay attention. I feel that you have direct communication coming from a past life situation um, or a person from the past that wants communication. They want to come forth and I hear set the record straight. I hear about a soul connection that maybe you or your person was in denial about and of. This person feels that they are more in alignment with you. Two of Cups energy, definitely soulmate energy there. For some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that's very powerful, that's very strict, is very stern. This person is a natural born um, leader, like the boss of all bosses here in this energy of the emperor. It's someone that has upset your w world before in the past. I definitely see here that the Emperor Aries energy, as well as more air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, is wanting to come and set the record straight about a heartbreak situation is definitely what I'm getting. This person feels like you are their person. With the Two of Cups energy here, they are definitely watching you, seeing if anyone has come in to take their place and fill their shoes in position. 
This person isn't going anywhere, anywhere, anytime soon with the Emperor energy, Ace of Pentacles and Temperance. Um, they want you to be patient, Sag. They want you to wait for them because this person has offers. They want to come in with solid, tangible offers after much um, communication, after much um, clarity that is going to come through to you. You guys have a lot of clarity coming about this situation from this person here. And it's divinely guided for you guys. So I'm going to get an energy oracle card here to give me more information. For you guys spirit can i have an energy oracle for my lovely lovely sagittarius energy oracle for my lovely lovely sagittarius with the ace of pentacles and the emperor here someone is starting a new business it's going to be very prosperous here with the ninth house energy your energies sag as well as the second house very whoa whoa <laughs> oh my so this card went flying across my room anxiety worry stress and fears the thing about this card here is the woman that's inside is living in a kind of self-fulfilled prophecy because your thoughts have you so you know on the bad side of the situation focusing on the things that didn't work out while wanting to see brighter days but you're just not able or willing to pick your head up right now the picture behind this woman outside the windows depicts a storm but this storm is passing you by sag this storm is not coming in to affect you or hurt you this is a situation that's blowing in the wind and it may be a little more a little too close for comfort for you but it's not directly coming towards or aimed at you i feel that this is a situation that is coming to clear your path more so than to wreak havoc on you so please don't take the situation in your person personal the um, temperance is helping and allowing for these ebbs and flows to happen in life to create more of a balance in your life and um, bring more reciprocity into your current situation is definitely what i feel holding a coin in action rest and rejuvenation some of you guys you are on break from your person i do feel that you are on break from this person you have a very unhealthy attachment to them and it's creating a lot of anxiety and worry and stress and fear within you here rest and rejuvenation some of you guys need to fall back and just allow for the healing to take place here more of you guys are getting the answers and the clarity you need through moments of meditation here i see that you're definitely tapping into some of this vesta energy allowing for the universe and your angels and the temperance to help you along your journey only requires very little effort on your part just go within ask for help and believe and trust and know that the answers will divinely come to you through synchronistic events I definitely see here that action is needed. Your person, the emperor, wants to come forward and take action. This person is really hard for them to hold back what their inside, what their spirit is wanting to do here. Their physical body maybe is a little, you know, stagnant, a little behind here, but their spirit, the inside, what they feel for you, they can't control the urge to just come running into you like wild horses couldn't tame this person's emotions and keep them away from you. They want to come and offer this cup. They feel like you are their person and they want to come in with a solid, tangible offer, right? Man holding a coin man holding a coin wants to come in and offer this offer to you this is a person whose money is doing really well when you have the emperor and a man holding a coin this person is very sure of his or herself um it's like the king of all king the boss of all bosses this is someone who has their own business is an entrepreneur here i can tell you their money is doing real well now if you're dealing with someone that doesn't have their own business and is not established then they are just getting started um to embark on a beautiful beautiful um situation that's going to grow their money you know their finances their love for you but this person wants you attached to them and to their story they're coming in strong here they're coming in with the coin very impressive they want to impress you this person is really good looking <laughs> okay all right i'll see you so <laughs> and do i want romance angels yes before i clarify let me get some romance angels for you guys this is legit yes scary what messages do we have from the romance angels for the sagittarius 
Thank you guys. So this emperor showing up holding a coin. He coming in with his coins. He pulling up big pimping style. But that's your style, Sag. Big pimping. I call Jupiter, which is your ruling planet, right? The ninth house energy. I call that big pimping of the skies. It's the biggest planet that is visible from Earth, right? And it's about big pimping. It's about having your money, having your coins, having your duck in a row, having your shit together. It's beautiful. deception you're deceiving yourself with thoughts and worrying about things that maybe don't or did not serve you in the past and with this energy i feel that some of you guys could be wearing a false self mask in the relationship or has in the past i think the emperor here is willing to um tone down his power trip a little bit and to become more in alignment with you to begin to make this connection happen because this person has had a wake-up call at some point and realized that being um a little overbearing and controlling may have actually pushed you away and repelled you and put you in a state of anxiety here and you can't continue to go on in this energy here right so this person is toning it down they're taking off that tough guy act that deception the way that they wanted to show up to you it wasn't what it was going to take to attract you and keep you and now they're realizing that Messages from the Romance Angels. <laughs> Chemistry and release your ex. Okay, give your relationship a chance. So work on your partnership. That energy is here. Um, release your ex. For some of you, the time has come to clear your energy. Release your ex. Some of you don't want to let go of an ex, of a person that may be holding you back. Is that the anxiety energy here? Is it because someone in your past is holding you back? For some of you, it could be this person. Maybe that emperor here is trying to control you with his coin and it's not serving you. It's keeping you in anxiety and, you know, fear and stress. And maybe it's maybe just time to cut that person off to get rid of it. Are you deceiving yourself? Are you putting on the, wearing the facade here? I don't know. I don't know, but it's here for you. But for others of you, Wow. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So allow the situation to naturally unfold and take form and shape, right? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is where, this is where two cups become one. You guys together are going to create your Ace of Cups. Your connection is the Ace of Cups, but right now you're working on it, you know? I'm definitely seeing, though, that your person is very, very much into you. They are stalking you. They are observing you. They are watching your every move. They have resources as well. The Emperor with the man holding the coin. Oh, they have resources. <laughs> Trust and believe that this person is willing to spend the money. For some of you guys, they could have even gotten a private investigator to watch you. for a sad for my fiery fiery sad what messages do we have spirit okay then we have ooh we yes look at that cut the deck right there I'm taking those I'm taking those the lovers justice wow queen of cups spirit I need to all these cards and the chariot <laughs> I didn't plan it obviously but yeah that's fucking crazy the ace of cups i told you wow beautiful i'm just tripping guys this is legit what is up period you have an inner knowing here that this person may have been keeping secrets from you and that's the deception here um that's why deception is here you have an inner knowing here it's the high priestess no one can you know pull the bullshit um with you no one can pull the wool over your eyes there's lots of transformative energy taking place here the death card that's rebirth that scorpionic energy so some of you guys are dealing with the scorpio or virgo or pisces and the high priestess energy this is very, very spiritually enlightened and awakened energy here as well as Vesta here. Again, some of you guys are just opening up to the, you know, ascension. This energy in itself, in and of itself, is ascension. 
You know, you're ascending to new heights, new levels of consciousness, new awareness for yourself, for your connection. I see here in the magician energy, this is Virgo and Gemini. Some of you guys are definitely becoming the alchemist of your own life and experience, creating more of what you want by design and not by default these days. All right. I definitely see here you have everything you need. You have all the tools that you need or you have the assistance very close by to assist and help you in creating anything that you want to create and manifest here. Very magnetic time for you. So be very careful of your thoughts, the things you're feeding your brain and the things that you are watching and listening to. All right. The lovers here, twin flame and justice, um, Libra and Gemini energy. Again, some of you guys have soul activations and contracts that are being initiated right now and taking place. This is someone that's going to show up for you. They're going to be there for you. They're going to change your whole world, right? A whole level up is taking place in matters of love and your finances. And it all starts with this person that you're going to meet. And you're just going to be drawn to them. You're just going to be pulled to them. Very mutual attraction. A lot of lust. This person is going to feel familiar to you. When you look into their eyes, they're going to feel like home. It's going to all make sense, you know? I definitely see here that this is the beginning of something very, very, very beautiful. And you're very much in love with your person. Or this can be their energy. Very much in love with you. With new love. With wanting to start something very, very beautiful. Queen of Cups here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Ace of Cups here. Right? I see the chariot. This is Cancerian energy. So your person wants to come forward and take action like now. You know, and if this is your energy, if you need to swap the, the, the roles here, that's fine. And cross watchers, this reading can resonate for you more than the person you're watching for. Someone here definitely wants to take control of the situation, take life by the reins and just come charging in. For some others of you, this is definitely moving. This is a card of travel and movement. So again, with the world card here and the ninth house energy, which is about foreign affairs and travels, this is someone that you've met in a different place and location, and they're going to be traveling to you. They're going to take that trip. They're going to book that flight you know to get to you i'm definitely seeing that here so again i just can't tell you guys enough beautiful connection beautiful situation ace of cups queen of cups this is someone being emotionally available this is emotional maturity here and this is the universe coming to you saying that sag now is the time that you receive this cup of love that you receive this offer that you've longed for your days of anxiety of being deep in depression and feelings of being alone that you have to navigate through this 3d experience and incarnation alone is going to be a memory of the past here believe in yourself and believe that it's possible because it's here for you now and even though your person's a bit obsessive here watching you i definitely feel like justice is going to be served in matters of the heart and it's going to be delivered to you through this emperor that's going to show up wearing his heart and his bag on his sleeve for you very very well established this person is very well to do very confident very cocky very proud he's going to have something to show off he's going to come in with impressing you getting you the things that you want him or her it's, you know getting you the things that you want getting you the things that you need showing you what love is loving on you you know so allow for the old things to cycle out and fizzle out of your life of what no longer serves you so you can make room for this new love and energy coming in because it's quite amazing if i do say so myself tranquility this is the magical mermaids and dolphins Magical mermaids and dolphins. What messages do we have? Synchronicity. Yay. Okay. I'm tripping. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. I have four cards here for you guys. I have tranquility. Make time to relax. Be still and enjoy your solitude. Indulging in much needed self-care. The angels want you to be in a peace and tranquil state of mind. They don't want you to worry and fret. You know, the answers that you need are here for you. They are closer than you think. Yes, this is your person. Yes, your intuition is correct about your situation and your person. I definitely feel like it is here for you now. So take action accordingly, right? You have the high priestess here. That is definitely your intuition. And you have this sense of inner knowing about your person and about the connection here. Yes, this is your person. Yes, your intuition is really on point and it is guiding you like your GPS, guiding you, directing you towards this person. Don't fight that feeling. It's for you. Playtime. 
The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. So it's time to play. What, what, what does that look like for you? You know, what does playtime look like for you, Sag? Synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. As I did touch on in the beginning of this reading here with synchronicity, with Vesta, the high priestess, you guys are very in tune and in touch with your higher self right now. The veil is really thin here coming up and um, on the Halloween here, you know, the Scorpio season is getting ready to start. So the veil is very thin between um, the spiritual and the physical right now. So do take those messages to heart that are coming in and take action accordingly. That's what I get for you guys. Distant horizons, message of concern. Some of you guys, that could be your anxiety. Here's your message of concern, main female. And concern again. Someone is very concerned. Ooh, I'm talking about concern, concern, honey. Who is so concerned and worried? Any more messages, Spirit? Any more messages? An official person and family room. I think someone is worried that if you know who they truly are, their true love language, that you may take advantage of them and hurt them. I definitely see someone is really in their head worrying. There's a lot of worry and anxiety and fear and stress here. You know, concerning you, concerning your person, concerning the connection. I think you intimidate them and you make them really, really nervous. Sagittarius, I mean, I think you make this person really nervous. Main female, distant horizons. This person wants to make you the main female. They have long-term plans for you. It's going to include a lot of travel. Um, you are dealing with someone that their money is doing really well and they are well-traveled. But this person could have a main female somewhere. They can have a wife or a mother of their kids. Or it could be someone that they obtained their wealth through their mom. It could have been an inheritance of some sort. Family room and official person. So they want to incorporate you into their family. This person has a lot of um, credentials here in their work life and their home life with the emperor card here. Of course, that's very indicative to that energy. I'm definitely seeing someone very decorated. Someone very, oh, there goes that ringing in my ears. I've been getting that a lot lately. Like they feel plugged up and then I get the ringing. Woo! Those are downloads from the subatomic particles from the electromagnetic field. And there's downloads that come in. And it's been happening to me lately in readings, during the readings. That's, for me, confirmation from spirit that I'm really on point with you guys. Read. Whew. Okay. So, official person and the emperor. This is someone that has their own empire. They're working on building their empire. And they see you as the one that they want to attach to the success, to the story. They're coming in strong here and it's really good for you guys. So please stop deceiving yourself here. Um, it's okay to love. It's okay. The last card here I was not going to take, but it's part of your story. Um, false person. I don't know if this is you or your person, but you need to let go of the facade and stop on um, whatever you're doing. If you're not bringing your true self forward, it's okay to be yourself. It's okay and safe for you to love. This person is coming in to love you, to change your world and to bring good things forth into the table. So that, that didn't work in the past. You could be living out self-fulfilled prophecies of things that didn't work out, like history repeating itself. So your angels want you to know that it's okay to release that, to let it go, and to begin to look forward to a beautiful, abundant life with your person that's coming in really strong, confident, cocky, and proud. Some of you guys, this person is in the arms services. This person is someone that is maybe in the army, could be in law enforcement. They're very decorated in, their, in whatever it is they're doing. They're very established. They successfully completed a life of money, of finance. They're building their riches. They are in the process of building their empire. <laughs> hold your vision. Angel of imagination and hold your vision. Wow. This is the Moonology deck. Hold your vision. With the angel of imagination, hold your vision. What do you see for yourself? Hold that vision. Know that it can happen. Know that it's possible. Know that it is here for you now and claim it. Own it. Take action towards it and make it yours, right? A win-win outcome is forecast, period. Woo! Yes. Look at that. Take action. You're going to win. You're winning, period. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. And your hard work is paying off. Yes. Yes. I see this card here. Spirit kind of blew the false person off. And I see it here. Mature man. <laughs> look at that. And did we not have the mature woman card here? I'm going to look for her. 
Yep, yeah, no main female, okay. It doesn't matter still, mature man, main female. There we go, main male, there we go. <laughs> main male, main female, divine counterparts. This person is very, very familiar to you. You are going to feel so familiar to this person, but they are legit watching you. This person can't stop watching you. They're kind of obsessed, you know, let them have that. They want to be obsessed, they love you. They're looking at you, they're looking over the whole, whole situation they're going back to where it all started for some of you guys the world keeps showing up here in your reading you had it in your two of wands you know it's here with the jupiter energy you had it here with the two of wands this person you're their whole life you're their whole world the level up is real they're coming in real strong you guys are going to be the pair period a magnetic pair magnetic couple one and two together is that perfect balance, that perfect partnership, that perfect alignment of what a real relationship should be and how a man should come in and love on his woman, period. He's here for you. He or she, this person is here for you. Don't overthink it. Don't sabotage it. Please don't sabotage it. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope someone got what they needed from this reading. It was amazing for me and I hope it was amazing for you as well. You guys have a divine counterpart coming in. That's a soulmate connection with mutual love, admiration, and respect. So pay attention to the signs of the synchronicity that's coming in for you guys so you can resolve the issues of your past and step into this love and stop self-sabotaging yourself because you have nothing to fear and worry about. Good luck is here for you now. Love is here for you now. Expansion and growth is here for you now. Thank you, Sag. Namaste.